Hello everybody and today's subject I choose female dance. I think we have some special zone in our body which create even more female look and more female feeling. So that's what will be my subject for today. Sounds very exciting. We are looking forward to see your lecture. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. She was unbelievably good and the movements fantastic. I still dream of her. Please welcome Svetlana Tverianovic. Thank you so much. From Russia. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. And I would like, first of all, to say thanks, great thanks to organizer to invite me again for this great camp, beautiful camp, and to this lecture, which really are, how to say, make me think more or analyze my job or my thinking about dance even more than when I just have a private lesson. So this is for me a very interesting part of my job. And today, subject I choose, which actually I will read maybe the first time. The subject is about myself. Don't worry, I will not speak about my successful competition or show or unsuccessful competition or show. I will speak about female dance. Of course, we live in the 21st century and we can lift the man or we can do a lot of things in a dance. I mean in a dance. I'm not meaning a social life. Um, social life. But still, we're different from the nature. We are born different. We have a different muscles. We have a different understanding of event, of the music, of the same sentences. As far as I teach and as far as I talk with boys and girls, I can find it even more deeply. And actually, in, during the teaching, I also make a little bit of difference between, not a technical, maybe it's a technical, but a little bit zone of attention for the man and for the woman. So today we try, uh, I try to show you some my idea and you i guess join me and try to feel so if you would like to join me put your uh, back a little bit away sit in the edge of the chair and for the men i hope that you will feel a little bit like a woman or like a woman and for the girl maybe you find out some new position or you check oh yes i feel the same so we will check how it's work so we sit on an upright, of course, our spine is stretched. Very good. And we start from the top down to the knee. So how to put our neck are in a special woman position. But maybe the men also will check how it feels for the men. So our ears, the top of the ears, I will stretch from these two bones. Color bones, yeah, right? Is it right name? Color bones. From these two bones, we stretch our ears. And another position, we, another stretching, we stretch from our nine bone from the spine, from a neck part. This is a nine bone. But I c call it differently. I call it brazon. Mm? So this is a brazon. So I stretch my ear from brazon and from these two bones stretched. Feel the neck is free, beautiful bones, and we can turn the neck without any distortion, without any um, extra tension, but still in the neck it's more, a little bit more longer than we had before. Of course this is also straight, but nothing special for me. Then we go to our hands. Hands for me don't belong to the elbows or to the shoulders. Hands belong to the armpit and the shoulder blades. This low part of the shoulder blades. And now put, close the legs. Sorry, you are a woman now. Uh, <laughs> even you <laughs> don't want to try. <laughs> and put the hand on the knee. Now, stretch your index finger forward. Now, very important that you will check now that your arm pit muscles still in the back. 
Now feel that your shoulder blades go down and closed. So this is wrong position. Now we put in a lower part of our armpit and shoulder blades. Now we stretch our arm from armpit through triceps and to uh, index finger. Now what is very important is this part of the hand. We start to walk with the upper part of the arm. Turn upper part down, turn upper part of the arm up. But feel, 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 still feel stretching from our um, shoulder blades. Now, we go with our elbows backward. And we still have no reaction in our body on that moment. I would like that your arms will be isolated from the body, but together with the armpit. Put the arms backward. Now, arms forward. Now, use your elbows. Go up, go down. Yes, when your, elbow, when your arms go down, up, your shoulder blades go down. Now use your elbow, only elbow. Now we put the arms or triceps backward and again back, forward, use your elbow. Yes, bravo. Yes, but when you stretch your arm, feel, feel your body. Now it's a little bit man position. Yes, and now again. So there, these arms are isolated. And I will speak about this a bit later but how we use our arm, how we place, how we turn. This is a beauty of a woman. Of course, men have a beautiful position and sometimes it's a lated arm from the body. But I think woman has more isolated arms and special movement. Okay, so we use our arm. Now, I would like that you will touch your waist. Of course, we now sit in upright position with a stretched stomach with a stretched back and with a stretched stomach. But now I would like that we will use this diagonal muscle, abdominal muscles. We have diagonal muscles. So stretch this muscle. So uh, our um, shoulder, our ribs go a little bit higher and the part from the spine, this part from the spine, stretch a little bit more. So we put the arm on our waist and now stretch the waist. So I hope that you will feeling like this. Stretch. Now I'm, st I'm uh, straight. Now I think about my diagonal muscles. So it's some um, extra, like one or two centimeters, not more. Sit, sit. You are still now. Now you are a woman. <laughs> yes. Bravo. Very good. I can see this. Do you feel it? Yeah. So now we have a little bit slimmer waist, but it's also, it's not only the beauty, it's a stretched masculine corset. Very good. Next point, we go lower. Now we go to our inside upper muscles. So if you will see the picture of the muscles of the leg, so this is, this is a big muscle over the leg. I don't remember the names, it's very bad with me. I learned, but I forgot. But here we have three diagonal muscles and they're very important for us. Normally we take care of our, this muscle and we close these muscles very by, by purpose, very special. Yes, we close these muscles and we raise our knee. So normally, when we use our legs, we use the leg from a very high knee. Bravo. Now we try to connect everything. So we go with a hand. Uh, no, we didn't forget. I forgot to, that you will try with the leg. So we first we touch the floor with inside muscles. Now these muscles we turn out, now in and bring to the close. Again, we go out, we turn these muscles away, now in and we close, we start to close with the inner upper muscles. Very beautiful, very beautiful, very good. Now we try to connect all together. So we have isolated arm, now we go with the arm up, now we go with the arm up. Now we use our elbows and go down. And again, backward. Bravo. Forward. Try to do in one direction. Boom. And then isolated. Bravo. And put more your energy. 
and your character in this position, keeping this view very good. <laughs> very good. Bravo. That's really very, very good, I can say. So now we try the most important female zone. So it's this bone, braza, bra zone, our inside muscles, and how we use our arm. Uh, now I go, I go again from the top down to the, uh, to the feet. How we touch the boy? Of course, it's a completely different hand when we touch. But check, please, the girls, how it looks like. I, what I think and what I notice that it's the most comfortable for the man, for the boy, that if we will have a straight line from the elbow and then we close just uh, bones. Yeah, try it. Stretch and close just the bones. So watch what is the difference when we close also finger and break the joint, waist joint. It's immediately heavy and immediately the hand of the boys are under the pressure. This I don't want because the boy actually who is leading us and we are, shouldn't disturb him in a, some aggressive way. So we close our finger. Yes. In this position, feel our index finger. This is very important it's because it's index finger go from a nine part, uh, from a bra zone. Here we also feel an index finger. So we can have a different, different um, position in the wrist, but these fingers are very important in this position. So if we go like this, like this, like this, like this, still we keep, still we keep this straight uh, joint with a very important and very sensitive bones. So then, as I told you, we have a very, very slim, we try to make it a very slim waist. Now I'm also a woman, but it's not um, as a woman for stairs, for, for stage. Yeah, if we dance on, or you dance on the competition, if you are comparable, you have to be comparable in the best way. So we, the, our aim to be perfect or interesting or marvelous, doesn't matter how you call it, we can be very straight, we can be very collapsed, we can be even more strong and then again woman. What I think that we first train our zone important to be a very woman and then we can destroy, no, not destroy, the wrong word, use a different attitude to be more strong, more aggressive, then again elegant and that become more interesting. All right, so with a very slim masculine corset, we still can use our side shoulder blades going going to the center and to the under popper muscles and use our body. So we're not, we'll stay with a stretching masculine corset all the time. Of course, we're using one of the side. What about these inside muscles? When we close the leg, doesn't matter what dance we have, we close with these muscles. It will be a samba, in a wu, pum, chum. It's a special close. Of course, it's possible just to close the leg. Done. But it's nothing, nothing how you stretch, how you produce inside energy or inside beauty. Or if you have a rumba, you will boom, and how you close, maybe with a hip, but now how you touch this upper in the muscles and how you uh, still worry, uh, take care about this or in samba how much time you see uh, that the girls start in samba rum pum pum chikutum chikutum pum doesn't taking care about upper muscles and immediately the body is very good the body really show samba mood but then it's something something disturb you because mm, it's not good. But if it's the same will be with the closed muscles, then it will be much more 
understandable, beautiful, and very classy. Classy, I said very, very loud. <laughs> okay, now, the feet and the knee. Do you remember how many times for just rumba walks, clapping for men? I try to remember, maybe it was many years ago, maybe only for Alf Repine, maybe. Because he had the fantastic leg and all this beauty stuff he can show. But actually, I grew in a time when gained a fair weather dance, and when she worked on the floor with the rumba work, everybody started to clap, or samba work, or, or cha-cha, doesn't matter. Do you remember again if we were there, some of you? Do, do you remember how beautiful was the fit and it just rumba walk? And it's already wow effect. Of course I will not compare with her. And now time we have some very, very good, excellent girl. But still I would like to um, share my idea how to make a beautiful leg when you work. So first of all, okay, the body we finish. So now when we pull the leg one to, in to another, make a neutral position, we pull within, okay, with, a with rotation of spine, center, and with the upper inner muscles, we close. So we will not pass, we will not make passing the leg without closing these muscles. Second, I think that our uh, neutral position, it's not really neutral, it's already dynamic position, where we already show next direction and next distance. So now, how you, st how you start to go with the leg? Leg start from here. For me, the leg start from here, then it go for very high knee and then a very high ankle. So two legs working from a standing leg, starting very high knee. Now I use my standing leg, use my ball of the foot, and then I place the heel, roll my back ankle, and then I finish with the turning position. And again, very high ankle and very high knee. So of course I can pass like this, but this is not extreme. And I'm looking always for extreme position. Extreme, then you start to go, and then you start to make a next step. So this zone, high knee, and maximum stretched ankle, for me that make a very beautiful position in a rumba, also in a cha-cha, for example, lock. How, how the girl rise the knee. The man can go, of course, um, he use knee and hip, but the girl use extremely knee and hip and her ankle. Then I think it will look much, much more like a woman. Uh, so about closing, I said about our steps, I said. So now another position. Of course, we are beautiful, we are stretched, our arms are isolated, mm, but we still have to be very, very strong. Because when we have uh, some highlights, like turning, spagat, bending, um, we have to use our muscles. We couldn't hang on a boy's hand without any taking care about our body. And, of course, the muscles inside have to be very strong. And uh, I, I will show you a few examples. This is my partner today. I decide that this is sometimes more safe than the boy. Of course not. And when I try, my <laughs> and when I try to do uh, some position like spagat or something on the chair, I can say, I nearly die. It's so difficult. I, I saw that it's much more easy because with Sergey or with boy or with some with whom I show, with some boys with whom I show, 
It's easy. Well, it's nothing to do. But when I'm really alone, I can say it's bloody difficult. So how many we see the position when the girl go in this position and sit with the uncontrollable armpit or triceps? What is important, we have a very strong armpit and very strong triceps to be in the uh -huh. to be in a beautiful position so it's lower or higher and then of course we try to be in a counterbalance and try to put some weight even on the toes then to make some position like this like this it's still it's still my muscles of course with a boy I can say it's much much easier or, for example, if the girl go to the split, we have to stay on our own leg as long as possible. So these muscles, again, are very strong. Or we change for another position, and again, our armpit, our triceps, our own leg are very strong. Then we go to some position, and maybe here, also it's our leg, how we close. Now I need a rest. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But I think, actually, I find out when I prepare to this lecture that it's a good exercise for the girl, really. No, it's immediately, nobody cover our distortion in a shoulder or in a, in a weak hand, because boys, of course, they take care here or here, they touch us, and they cover uh, the girl's distortions very often. And here you can't do something wrong because you all, you can see everything. Um, then another position. When, for me always, when I dance with Sergei, and we dance a lot of show, I find out, not only I find out, my teachers also said me that the girl have to be very strong. When we go to the lift, I will not do <laughs> lift with a chair, <laughs> this is for sure. But when we go to the lift, we do it like we rise in the air and our muscles are strong, how we get, give the, the leg, how we give the hand and then we go up. So this is also very important to be attentive. Not just, I give a leg, now my hand. Can, I think you can see some of this example on a competition or during the practice. So girls, we have to be very strong and of course the boy taking care of us and he lead us, but we shouldn't be heavy for them. For example, if we do this very easy exercise, uh, not exercise, this very easy bend, you know, when the girl is turning, 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 then the boy grab and then do you see this leg normally behind the leg of the boy and uh, now we belong to the boy I think you remember this, yeah so very important that first of all you catch your center what does that mean catch your center that this part, lower part of your stomach exactly on the ball of the foot our head exactly in front of this. If I will stay really vertical, this five, three centimeters which boy will uh, take it differently, disturb me. So I go really forward. Now, when I go bend, I will not bend on the ball of the foot. You try, girls, you try to connect your hips, strong hips, strong, um, tailbone, strong muscles and the popper muscles going up you going down now i feel every i uh, know i will lost everything and now you again go up and go from this position thank you very much <laughs> but <laughs> thank you and she is very good actually <laughs> he saved me and uh, Mm, 
Of course, with a boy, it's absolutely different feeling. You can do much more. It's a huge amplitude. Again, I return that our muscles and our thinking and our understanding of what we are doing have to be very strong. We have to be very strong inside. Even this position, it's not for the no muscle girl because everything has to move in a huge amplitude or in a very small amplitude but still it's your decision but still because you have the muscles and you can decide then big smaller softer stronger what i would like to say a little bit more and forget uh, for um, very important it's hand i will start already when we all to try to get this feeling for me the arms from the girls are isolated a lot like 90 percent okay 80 percent from the dance that is together yeah these muscles are working now together but when you will do something very very different or for example you will do batakada and the arms are going in isolated position or you do shaking and the arms go really in a different with a different speed. That looked very beautiful. For me, I always say, wow, when I see the hand going from the back, connected with the back, but not connect, and that extremely hand, extremely this part, triceps or upper part of arm. It's wow, it's beautiful girl. And it's attract attention. So we have strong this part, we use a lot of joint over elbow joint and we have a very emotional wrist and fingers is it strong or is it soft or is it pointed classical just something just very loosey um, wrist but still it's your style your trademark and that you have to work on and the last what i would like to say so when the couple for me, it's more like a team. It's not we're not fighting with each other for power, for making more strong movement. Of course, we need to have on the competition a strong movement, but still we have a different muscles. Still we have a different thinking. So we try to, girls try to communicate with the boy in your way. If he say something, why? Maybe we will do like this. Okay, I try. First try what the boy suggests. Maybe it's not a bad idea. Because on the lessons, a lot of good ideas may be very difficult, but comes from boys. And the girl, a lot of girls start to say, mm, no, I don't want. First try, girls. Because we can do a lot of things and uh, you are so beautiful you are so interesting and 21st century it's in the life can be completely different you can be in the life completely different what you are producing here on the floor on the competition floor or on a show so i wish you a very big success be a man and be a woman show female and male dance and i hope that some ideas help you to produce it thank you very much Thank you. Thank you, my partner. <laughs>